What's going on guys? Vic BB back with another Game Case Arcades video. We updated it. We keep I just I keep defying the laws of these things. Basically checking it out. The mini NES Killer 4 player edition and on this one, you got it. Four PS3 wireless controllers. You heard it right guys, we got PS3 controllers working on this fully wireless. We're back at the catering hall. I got the pie back there. And for this episode, I'm breaking it out guys. We are gonna be playing on, I don't even know what the diagonal on that, but I think that's a 100 inch screen right there. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff right now. But real quick, I know you don't like selfie mode, but somebody wrote in a comment, it was awesome. It said, it wouldn't be a Vic VP video if I didn't say that you guys didn't like the selfie mode, but I'm gonna do it anyway, so screw you. But I will do my selfie mode always. That's just my signature, so deal with it. Basically, again, we're looking at the PS3 controllers. Uh, these actually surprisingly are cheaper than the SNES controllers. Uh, so for four-player mod, it's going to be 250, 250 bucks for this complete set. Four wireless PS3 controllers. So we do get them from Amazon. I will put the link in. I'll be honest, it is a tough thing to kind of like configure. It is kind of a headache to do, but pretty cool. Check it out. Inside one box, you do get two controllers. I'm going to put the camera down. Again, we got two controllers in one box. Really cool. Amazon sends you two different colors. You get them in black. Again, fully wireless with a very long six, uh, six foot USB wire in case you want to charge it. And they also give you these cool little covers for the controllers. Um, totally wireless on this one. Basically, all we got to do is you got to press the PS3 button. Four lights will turn on. Player one activated and now Check it out. We are able to navigate our menu with a PS3 controller. What's really cool about this is that they do send you two of them. So there is one in black and there is one in red. Really like the red. I dig the red. Pretty cool on this one. Again, kind of like a knockoff. You kind of see like the buttons on this are like not even like triangle. It's not even the triangle button. That's not even the circle button. Again, knockoff. They do work with PS3s, but with some coding and with some knowledge, you'll, you, could, you could put these to a Raspberry Pi. Now, real quick, what's really cool about this, especially when like the SNES controllers, it needed a USB dongle, but actually check out my case. I'm gonna flip it. Basically on this case right here, no dongles, zero USB. This right now, again, we have my catering hall set up. Controllers are using Bluetooth to work so there is no usb dongle again we do have two colors black and red they do have another set of like a black and like white marble i didn't really like it i didn't buy it but basically you know how we're gonna do it we're gonna boot all four controllers up just to show you guys this is going out to a customer named tony uh i messaged him and i well he messaged me and i told him like hey give me a week let's test out the ps3 controllers and sure enough, a week has passed and we have tested them. Again, we got two blacks, we got two reds. All you gotta do is press the PlayStation button. I didn't even charge these out of the box. These came out of the box. I haven't charged these yet. But as you can see right now, the lights, player two, player one, and player four. So I'm gonna load up the big screen on this one just for fun because I have it. Big screen, we're gonna load up some four player arcade action. Again, using all four PS3 controllers, I need help. Let's load up arcade, we're gonna load up four player crime fighters. There is a lot of four player games that I still have to make my list, but there is a lot of games basically. We're gonna load up four, uh, crime fighters, again, four player game, four PS3 controllers. I'm about maybe, let's say, at right now, a good 10 feet away from the pie. Playing on the big screen. Connect my player four. Da -da -da. There we go. And as you can see, we have right now four player action going on. Player one, player four, get his butt kicked. I got that four player action going on right now. Oh wow. <laughs> Never played this game before. It looks pretty cool. But there you have it. Four player action going on right now. We're gonna exit out. 
And real quick, the biggest thing that I love about this specific controller is that this will play your N64 correctly. Yes, with the dual joysticks, again, you have your D-pad, your left analog for N64, it will play correctly. So let's load it up real quick. We're gonna go into consoles, N64. I'm gonna load up Super Mario and bring it to the closer TV, but real quick, just for kicks, we're gonna load up some WWF, WrestleMania 2000, four player action, pure classic, WrestleMania 2000. Again, four player mod, four PS3 controllers. I love this controller. It's so cheap, lightweight. I don't believe it will rumble though. I don't think it's gonna rumble with the N64 though. Again, we're gonna select all of our characters, player four. As you can see, one, two, three, and four. I'll play a four to turn it off, the battery's probably dead on it. I play a four, the battery's dead on it, but we're gonna do it for the video. There it is. Now, if you remember on the N64, you have your D-pad to move, you are so cold to taunt. It was the analog stick, so this is perfectly fine right now. Able to hit off the top rope. Just for the video, WWE old school way. We gotta do it. We gotta do a stole from the center. That is it. That's how officially we're gonna end this. We're gonna exit out, start and select out. We're gonna pick up the camera and I'm actually gonna bring you closer to the TV. As the big thing I want to show off real quick, especially with this controller and you know, it's again with the SNES controller compared to everything else, we're gonna load it up. Super Mario 64. Mario. Old school stuff, you can't, you, you, you can't. You just gotta play it. So remember, we are using a PS3 controller. Analog works. So now if you remember in my other video with the SNES controller, when we were like jumping and we were trying to do like the kicks, you would hear the camera. But now correctly, we are able to move the camera accordingly. We're able to move Mario right. Again, in my other video, when I would die like that, you would hear the camera trying to be brought back. This, again, we do have our Z button set. Again, this is the right way to at least play N64. Different style controller. Again, so many buttons on this. Your four buttons, five, six, seven, eight buttons. You got your thumb pads, the thumb sticks, and you got your D-pads. So there's more than just six buttons on this alone. So this will play correctly. Definitely, definitely 100%. I mean... There's not much else, guys. This is it. N64, 303 N64 games, four player, PS3 mod. Let's try to do some four player. There should be a four player Smash mode. Four players. We got player one. I'll be Mario. I got player four in my hand. Player three, I'm sorry, is Link. My player four keeps turning off. I think I just need a battery. Player four. And we got player two. Again, four player Smash Bros on this. Again, as you can see right now, you can kind of see at least the stutter to it a little bit. Nothing drastic, nothing crazy, but there you go, there you have it. Four player, PS3, the mini NES killer is set. 250 bucks, DM me, get yours now.